How to build a container image using Podman. When you first start out building container images, more than likely you're using Docker. However, did you know that there is another tool that gives us another way to build images? That tool is Podman. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.426.1. Attached to this controller, I have an agent that has Podman installed on it. There's also a sample repository for this video. The link to that repository is down in the description. Let's go ahead and take a look at that repository. What we have is we have a container file, which is what Podman needs to build. We have a Jenkins file, and we also have a shell script. Let's go ahead and take a look at the container file to understand what we're doing. What we have is a from line for the base image, and then we're copying the shell script, hello.sh, into the image. Let's go ahead and take a look at our Jenkins file. So within our Jenkins file, at the very top, we have an environment variable named dhcreds. Now what these are, are my Docker Hub credentials, so I can push my image that I built with Podman up to hub.docker.com. If you're using a container registry different than Docker Hub, then you'll set up credentials for that registry in a similar way. So since I have a static agent connected to this controller, what I'm wanting to do anytime I build an image is the first off, I'm going to do a Podman RMI, so remove all images from this agent. That way I start out with a fresh agent, including my base image, every time I do my build. So I'm saying Podman RMI dash dash all dash dash force. That's wiping out all the images on the agent. Next up, we're going to say Podman build. We're going to give it a tag, and I'm giving it a tag of Darren Pope slash hello world and then I'm giving it a specific date. And then I'm specifying a dot to reference the default container file. Once the build is complete, we'll move on to logging into Docker Hub. This is where our credentials come into play. You'll notice that I'm piping in my password, dhcreds underscore PSW. Now, if you've not seen the underscore PSW and the underscore USR, that comes from the credentials helper. So since the credentials helper understands that the lowercase dh-creds is a username password within the Jenkins credentials system, then what it's going to do is it's going to go ahead and put the username colon password into dhcreds, but then we get two extra variables that we can use. We get the dh underscore creds underscore psw, which is for the password, and then the dh underscore creds underscore usr, which is the user part of dhcreds. So we're piping in the Docker Hub credentials password to our Podman login. We're specifying the user dash u, and then password dash standard in. So that's reading in the password from standard in. And then we specify what the registry is. In this case, we specify docker.io. If I was pushing to Quay, I would specify Quay.io. So we've built, we've done our login. Then I'm going to go ahead and tag the image. Now you may be saying, well, we already have a tag from when we did the build. That's true. But what I want to do is I want to go ahead and give another tag for latest that is the same as the tag for what we built. And then finally, we're gonna push both images up to Docker Hub by using Podman push. So again, what we have is a Podman RMI, Podman build, then we're gonna do our Podman login, Podman tag, and then finally two pushes using Podman. And then at the very end, in post always, so no matter what happens, we're gonna do a Podman logout of docker.io. Now, if we go over into Docker Hub right now, I do not have a Darren Pope slash hello dash world anywhere in this list. So let's go ahead and go over to our controller. I've already created the pipeline job that's pointing at the Jenkins file within that repository. So let's go ahead and run this job and let's take a look at the output from the job. First off, we clone in our image. It reads in that credentials helper. We can see with credentials here. We didn't specify with credentials, but by specifying the credentials helper within the environment block under the hood, it's using with credentials. Then we do our Podman RMI, we do our Podman build specifying the tag. And since we only specified a dot, it's gonna use the default container file that is within the repository. So we can see that it's pulling the images in, it copies in our hello sh, and then finally it successfully tags the image. Next up, we go ahead and log in to Docker Hub. We can see that it logged in successfully. We then do our tag for latest. And then finally we do our two pushes. We do our push with the date-based label. And then finally we do our push with latest. And then at the end, we do our logout using Podman logout docker.io. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment 
click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.